The number of dots in each pattern here forms a sequence of numbers. We say that the first term is 1 because in the first pattern there's one dot. In the second pattern there are three dots, so we say the second term is 3, the third term is 6, the fourth term is 10, and so on. What will be the value of the fifth term? We need to carry on the number pattern. In the first term, there's just one dot. In the second term, there are two dots forming the bottom layer of what we could call a triangle. And there's another dot making up the top of the triangle. There are three dots on the base of the triangle in the third term, four dots on the base of the triangle in the fourth term. So the fifth term will have five dots at the base. So we could draw a picture of this. One, two, three, four, five. And then following the pattern in the previous question, above two dots, in the center of them, there will be another dot. And this is how we construct the triangle each time. This is called the sequence of triangular numbers. To work out what the fifth term is, we need to count how many dots there are. There are five on the base, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we can say the value of the fifth term is 15. It's very important that we know what a term-to-term -term rule is. All this is, is the rule which takes us from one term in a sequence to the next term. We have the sequence of numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. What is the term-to-term -term rule? We can say that the term-to-term -term rule in words is that we add 2, because to get from 1 to 3, we add 2. To get from 3 to 5, we add 2. 5 to 7, we add 2, and so on. So we can say add 2, or in symbols, we could just say plus 2. In B, we again are asked for the term-to-term -term rule, it's a little bit different this time. We have 1 going to 3, 3 going to 9, 9 going to 27. A little bit of thinking will reveal the fact that we are timesing by 3 every time. 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27. So the term to term rule is multiply by 3. Or in symbols, times 3. The next term, therefore, is going to be 27 times 3, which is going to be 81. So we can say that the fifth term of the sequence is 81. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go, and when you're ready for the answers, press play. Here are the answers. In the first question, the term to term rule is add 3, or we can say plus 3. The next term of the sequence, therefore, is going to be 11 plus 3, which is 14. Question 2, the term to term rule is actually a subtract. We're taking away 2 every time, so we could say subtract 2 or take away 2 in symbols. The next term, therefore, will be 6 take away 2, which is 4. In question 3, the term to term rule, looking at what, what is happening in the sequence, you might immediately think we're subtracting 50, 150 take away 50, but that's not the case, because 50 take away 50 is 0, not 25. It seems to be that we're halving every time, so I can say that the term to term rule is divide by 2, or halving every time. Will all of the terms in the sequence be whole numbers? Well, no, because 25 divided by 2, or half of 25, which will be the next term in the sequence, is 12.5, which is not a whole number, so no. In question 4, the term to term rule seems to be that we are adding 6 every time. State whether it is possible for 220 to be in the sequence. To answer this question, we need to look at the kinds of numbers that seem to be in the sequence. 1, 7, 13, 19. The next term is going to be 25, and so on. These are all odd numbers. 220 is even, and because all of the, all of the numbers in the sequence seem to be odd, we can say 220 is not going to be in the sequence, so no. 
Here is a trickier question for you to try. We have a sequence of patterns made with matchsticks. The first pattern has four matchsticks. And the aim is to work out the term to term rule and, and work out how many matchsticks will be in the next pattern of the sequence. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready to go to the answer, press play. Here is the answer. We know that in the first pattern, we have four matchsticks. In the second, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the third, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it seems as though we're adding three every time. So we can say that the term to term rule is plus three. And in the next pattern, therefore, we will have 13 matchsticks.